Hello everyone and welcome to my video of the LEGO Jurassic Park 30th Anniversary 76958 Dilophosaurus Ambush. This set has 211 pieces, retails for $20, has one minifigure and a dinosaur, so let's go ahead and take a look at them. Our only real minifigure in this set is Dennis Nedry himself, who is of course an appropriate inclusion for the scene. If you've seen the movie, you know exactly how essential this guy is to the scene, so I love that he comes with the second expression there and that face on the front which is pretty appropriate for him as well. With the hair actually on for that second expression you can get a look at how this looks with that and the back just has the hood print on there and then the Jurassic Park logo in the front. A pretty great figure. The iconic Jurassic Park Jeep is created here in brick form to near perfection in my opinion. I think there are a lot of nice details here. The only thing I really don't like is this front section as it looks kind of squished to me proportionally. The vehicle is of course decorated with great stickers on it that I think really elevate the look of this model and make it more in line with the recognizability of the Jurassic Park brand. There are stickers on each of the mud guards on this particular vehicle including a raptor footprint as well as one on the opposite side. The canopy section looks pretty good to me which transitions into the front windshield area that has that adjustable guardrail on the front. The top can be removed just on a few studs and Nedry could be dropped in just as you see me doing right here. The lid attaches one, two, three, and the figure's good to go. Removing that top roof canopy section will give us a look at the interior, which is pretty simple, all things considered, but I think gets the job done. There's enough space for Nedry and then some for accessories, got the tire on the back, and then a license plate sticker on a one by two. The Dilophosaurus itself is appropriately printed and also new for this set. I want to say that's a new mold and the mouth is adjustable as well, just as you expect to get some posability with it. And lining it up to Nedry makes a pretty funny interaction on display. The side build included is just a little slice of Isla Nubar, even complete with the iconic camera of Barbasol from the scene. Obviously, the fact that LEGO officially licensed this real-life brand of shaving cream for this print is really impressive, and I'm really glad that they made the commitment to actually doing that. They even printed the nozzle on top of the can with a one-by-one -one tile. Appropriate signs are visible and even adjustable to the arrow like in the scene, and I accidentally showed you guys the play feature in which the Dilophosaurus could knock over the sign. How cool is the use of a frog for shaving cream? Attaching Nedry to the area is also easy and makes for a nice look when a minifigures actually attack. A quick look at the instructions will just give us a quick flip to the back and show us an ad for the remaining Jurassic Park 30th anniversary sets with that Discovery Center being at the top of my list as well as some of the other sets with the exception of the 4 Plus. Okay so all in all for $20 this is easily the best price set of the entire wave. I think the Jeep is detailed extremely nicely and you don't really see a lot of sets come out anymore at this price range to where you get a vehicle for $20, a little side build, a nice minifigure, and even a dinosaur. I think there's a lot of great stuff that can be done display-wise that makes this set easily worth the $20 in my opinion. Otherwise, that's going to be everything I've got for you. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video if you enjoyed it. I will see you guys later. Bye.